Hi. Right, fingers crossed it all works today. So um, we are going to try this wonder cushion, okay? Um, and you're going to think, oh God, why did we wait this long? It's not anything, it's just a quick, simple, easy, nice, quick pattern, okay? Uh, I was going to change it a bit, but uh, I think we might go with it, but I'll make some of the, um, the amount smaller and stuff. Anyway, without further ado, we're going to try the overhead camera. I think Sarah went and bought a new one. So can you all hear me? Am I making sense? You can see me, hear me. Hiya, Claire. Can you hear me? Can you see me? So um, we are going to go over to the overhead. You're not late, Eileen. I was a little bit late. I was just sending a message. Uh, right, so where are we? You can hear me. That's cool. Awesome. Right. So when we uh, when we got stuck last week, look, it's moving. So I know it's all working. When we got stuck last week, I was talking about this. Um, we went on retreat, and I wanted a um, a cushion, a, a pin cushion, because I didn't have one. And Carol Thomas had sent up this fabric and I just loved it. And there was only a little bit, so I just made this cushion. It's not finished, um, but one of the things that I did, there was a piece that I couldn't get the paper off um, because this is old uh, sample book stuff. Um, so I put that in to make a thing for my clips okay just somewhere to put the clips sarah has done a um, pattern which is very similar to this but her this bit sticks up all the way around um for you to put your clips on so there's loads out there anyway then i decided that i would make one where it had four pieces now they don't stand up very well um but they still work as, as that. I made it long and thin because when I'm sewing, I like to have a pin cushion in front of my sewing machine. So your sewing machine is sat here. And I like to have the pin cushion like tucked up against so that as I'm t if I'm taking pins out or clips out, I can put them straight in as I'm sewing. So um, that's why mine's long and thin. You can make yours any size you like, okay? So I will tell you what I cut. For this one, I cut, where are we? I did, all, I did know all of this last week. That's actually 10 and a half by one, two, three, four, five. Okay, 10 and a half by five. And then each of these, I had cut at two and a half by those are two and a half by five and then the flaps I took down again so they're two and a half by four and a half however I don't know whether they would sit up more if they were a bit shorter okay so I'll just turn the machine on so it's got time to warm up before I get to it. So I th I'm wondering whether if if these were uh, not quite so wide. So we're going to cut these down to a two, okay, and just see whether it sits up. So we're going to change it a little bit, okay? Change this pattern a little bit. So where am I? So there's the two, like that. Can anyone see a rotary cutter? She's been to her chander, so she's taking everything with her. Ah, uh -huh, I found it. I found it. Right. So we're going to take these down to two. Okay. Um, I think we'll leave those at two and a half because you've got plenty of room then for your pins 
You know, if you carry around as many pins as Sarah does in poor old Dave's back, it looks like a stegosaurus. So he's probably got a very saurus. So um, I'll cut that one down to two as well because that's part of my doobly what sits. Now, we are going to fold all of these in half, right sides together. These are the these are your strips in between and these are our spikes okay we're going to cut fold them in half and we're going to sew them on the edge all right on all the edges now i've got four here okay so we are going over to here uh to four so who's here let's say hello while we're um let's go to there uh, and say hello. Oh, what's happened there? So, um, yeah, everybody can see me and hear me. And oh no, what's that doing? <sighs> so, um, hi, Karen. How are you? And hello to everybody that's come in. I know every time I go back, it's all um, it's flipping around. You're not that late. Um, Reno, sewing Reno patchwork guy, uh, you're not that late at all. We're just getting started. So we're turning that on. Yeah, turn the iron on. So, hiya Marilyn, how are you? You got home all right then? So, we are just sewing down. Ooh, four. We are sewing down here. Okay. Um, there doesn't have to be a particular so a uh, quarter of an inch would be fine um, I have no idea what I'm sewing this at I'm just sewing okay so we're sewing down the two the, the long ends uh, so we're folding our two by four and a half inch strips right sides together long ways down and we're just creating um, it's going to be like a pocket okay so um, we've done one side and then we're going to go up the other side okay so So I've got four of these, three and four. Now I'm using, this fabric that I'm using is from the mercantile range. I love it. It's very, um, it's a very subtle, subtle colours. I think it's lovely, lovely. So we're just going to chop these. Sarah, why aren't your fancy posh scissors cutting anything? Oh, let's have a go with this. Perhaps it's the thread. Perhaps it's made of um, cast iron threads. We're going along here. I'm just going to separate all of these very close to the edge here set like that okay so we've got this little pocket and we want to turn it around the right way so we're just going to chop off all the corners okay mind you don't cut your stitches you just want to take some of the bulk in that um, corner off okay we're going along here like that I'm taking all the corners off and then we're going to turn them round the right way and pull them out I'm just going to prod my corners out like that and then we'll put the iron on it like that 
Move them over like that. It's really quick this as well. What do you use for stuffing? Do you uh, take a cushion apart or a duvet or do you buy proper um, proper stuffing? We always used to buy proper stuffing but I just use um, Ikea cushions. However, I've noticed Ikea cushions have gone up to £4 a cushion now. Is that because I've sent so many of you over to get... Um, Get cushions for stuffing. So I folded all of those and I've ironed them so that they're nice and sharp. Okay, like that. There we go. So we've got those. So we're now going to take these pieces. Now you want three pieces. No, you don't. You want five. One, two, three, four, five. Five pieces. How many have I got? I've got three. One, two, three. That's so good. So we're going to... Did I only pick... That's because my maths is rubbish. So what did I say I wanted? Five by two and a half, wasn't it? So, two and a half. We're going to go with this colour. It's a good job I put extra fabric in, isn't it? And of course, it's not quite long enough. Two and a half like that now we want them five long uh, five long like that okay so there we go so we're going to put if we put that on there and those two in the middle and that one on the end if we make sure that that goes between like that like that and like that that would be all right wouldn't it it's all right yeah because if i put that in the do it that and that and that no because it would always be a green then wouldn't it so we're going to do that. I don't want to lose my green. So we're going to sew that to that, like that, and put that in the middle. Work out your middle. Where am I? I'm still working. Uh, that in the middle. Work out your middles of all of these. Okay. Like that. And we're going to sew put that in there like that and then we're going to put one of these right sides together on top okay so that it all sits together and we're going to sew that um, down the one edge okay so uh, where am I um, what am I doing? Oh. Fabrics are lovely. They're called Mercantile. They are on the on the website. They're beautiful fabrics. So I'm liking the the fact that they look quite vintagey. Now you could do this um, if you worked it out beforehand. You could do this um, a bit at a time, a, a chain piece it. But we're just going to do a bit at a time so we want a green one there so you're going to work out the middle of that oh if i put the green yeah um in the middle of that like that i'm going to put that on there like that and then you're going to take another piece and put that on the top and you're going to sew it together so 
so I've spent a weekend going through my mum's stuff, working out a pictures for her for um, her funeral. Um, they wanted twenty five photos, so I've gone through all her photo albums that I could find. So I've had a lovely weekend going down memory lane. And I'm going to pick my sister up tomorrow. She's in Sydney at the moment. Or she was. She's probably on her way now. Um, on her way home. And pick her up tomorrow from the... Um, from the uh, Heathrow. So it's been... Uh, been an emotional weekend. So putting that in the middle and that on top. I did have another idea of how to do all of this, but um, I um, decided that my brain power <laughs> and my chance for getting it all wrong was probably not wise to do. So we've gone with this. Why haven't you cut? There we go. When we go back over here, you can see that they're sticking up much better than the last lot. I think that was the probably I'd made them these pieces too too long. They needed to be short in order to stand up. So we've made them shorter. How's that? I've also, because I didn't bother measuring the last bit, we went off kilter there. So we just trim that off so it's all the same. And we'll trim that so that they all, they all marry up. Like that. Ooh. Took your eye off the ball there, set. Okay, so we now have that. And all you're going to do is put this one on top. We iron that out. We iron this out so that we're all going one way. He doesn't want to do it. We iron that like that and then go in here. I'll iron these. Oh, no, I've put in a new iron mark on that one. Like that. So that's lying a little flatter now. I'm going to put this one on top like that and we're going to pin that around now the one underneath the the one underneath is slightly bigger so what we're going to do is sew on this side no we're going to pin it down and we're going to cut it so get that out of the way and like that we'll pin that down like that that, like that, and we are going to just trim it all up so that they're both the same size and that way they're less likely to get lost. So this is a, a good project for using up tiny scraps. Turn that over. Right. It's meeting all the way around there. We're just going to trim that off a little bit. So you could make this as long or as fat as you want, really. So we're going to sew this round, leaving a gap, okay? Like that. So, um, oh, where are we? You've missed the important bit. There is no important bit. You'll be able to find me, go back over it 
So I'm going all the way round. I'm actually doing a slightly bigger seam allowance this time because um, that way you know you're catching up all your, your fabrics. And when you're stuffing it, there's no strain or anything. We're just going all the way round. my measurements are slightly out they'll still catch in the seam but hopefully I've not caught the um, the spikes otherwise Sometimes I look at the machine as, as if I, it's going to tell me what, what I'm supposed to do next. Okay, so we're going to put that in there and that in there and that in there. Like that, we are going to trim off the corners again. Okay. Now, if you didn't want as much seam allowance, you can now trim it back but we'll just pull it out like that and they're still not standing up and we'll push these out like that like that one yeah oh, I caught that one in there look that one's not going to stand up because I caught that in my seam allowance. Oh, there you go. That's live TV for you. Did you see Sarah at the weekend on uh, Create and Craft? There's some cracking shows. Um, one of them I missed because I was having the eyes tested. <laughs> so I'm just unstuffing the one cushion to stuff the other one that you can see so um, as you're going round you what you want to do is make sure that you are not catching it in and I think they're going to lie flat I think that's just the nature of the beast I don't know whether they would if you stuff it harder whether they'd stand up let's have a look This is a different grade of fluff to what I normally use. I took a different cushion apart. Okay. I'm stuffing that in there. Leave a gap. I always... <laughs> yeah. I have to really think hard about leaving a gap. So, depending on how stuffed your cushion gets, we're just going to stuff the one end. Nope, they're still not standing up. They're still lying down. However, they're still usable. It's a work in progress. We'll have to have a, have a look and see. So that one's not standing up because I caught it in the, in the seam allowance look. So um, I'd have to unpick that bit. So there you go. You have a, another version of a pin cushion. Ta-da! But yeah, go and have a look at the mercantile stuff. Um, it's a... I, do you know, I'm not even sure who does it. I don't think it's a Riley Blay. It might be. But it's, you know, beautiful fabric. Nice and subtle. And there's a bit of a rainbow in there. Like a rainbow. So, right, we're going back over. We had uh, 600 orders from uh, Create and Craft this weekend. So, we're in the middle of that. And, of course, it's one of those Tuesdays where it's really busy. So, uh, the shop was full. 
we've had a new printer uh, arrive and we've got all of the um, the orders coming through with the June Taylor stuff and it's very light but they're in big boxes and they're all in the shop as well just a little crowded in there at the moment so I'm off to go and give a um, give a hand with that I'd much rather stay with you lot but you know there you go and uh, I will see you next week.